I was going to paint the bottoms of my pontoons, but I think I'm not going to because I was looking at my other boats and all the paints come off in the bottom anyway. Um, so I'm just not going to put any. The blackened resin should be pretty good outer layer. Uh, but I did want to fill in all the little, the little holes, the little divots and stuff. And my first thought was to sand a whole bunch of like a block of resin, mix that with some resin to make like paste, and then fill in the stuff there. But when I was looking for my angle grinder to grind up some resin, I found some epoxy. And it was pretty thick, so I figured I could use that. Now, I didn't get out the camera, because I was thinking, although it's probably like one or two hour epoxy, you know, it might be ten minute epoxy. It doesn't say anywhere on it. So I just went and did it real fast. And it was like five minute epoxy. Yeah, it, it hardened real fast. But, I think I got all the the little divots that would be below the water line in normal operation. So I just need to sand those off a little bit. And then, I guess, since I have that, uh, I better put another coating of resin over the whole thing. Wow, that stuff hardens so fast. This was the last batch I did, like, minutes ago. Well, I guess I better make sure I sand in the direction of water flow. So these came out really great. And the surrounding area is pretty good too. You know, this is where the, there was just resin, no epoxy. And I kind of want to do the whole boat this smooth. Here's my dilemma. I want to sand it smooth, but I want to make sure there's no fiberglass exposed. So I need to have a layer of resin on the outside of any of the fiberglass. So if I go sand everything, I may expose some fiberglass. If I go, you know, sand too deep in a couple spots here and there. But then if I go over with resin again, then I get the lumpy surface again. Ah! Now I went online and looked up how people smooth out their boats, which is apparently called fairing. Oh, I don't have time for all that stuff. I also don't have all that stuff. What I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it all down to, you know, this nice smoothie part, like, like this part came really good. Uh, there's a few really good spots that I did back there. I'm going to smooth it, smooth it all out. And then I'm going to, instead of rolling on a layer of resin, I'm just going to wipe on a layer of resin. Like just a really thin, flat layer. Just uh, with the, I think I'm going to take a roller and just get it a little bit damp with the resin and just smear it on and spread it as far as it'll go. Just make sure it's really flat so there's there's no uh, no buildups for, for lumpy parts. So, you know, that's what happens here. You, know, you roll it on and then it's just, I mean, it's it's almost flat, but it's just uneven. This is going to take hours. Now, what I could do in future situations like this is put one color in the fiberglass and then put a different color over it. That way I'll know if I'm sanding right through. Next time I use the mold, I just need to put like several layers of resin in the mold before I put any fiberglass in. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't do that on this. I did the, that with my previous mold. Hmm. Anyway, I am where I am. This is going, you know, about as well as it can be expected. But, while I'm sanding, I'm thinking, is there a way to, I don't know, do something here that's better? And I started thinking, when I, you know, after I get this sanded, I'm going to have to put resin on it that's not going to get all bumpy again, right? So at first I was thinking of just smearing it. But then I was thinking, what if I rolled it on? Oops, camera died. And then uh, I ended up doing what I was about to say which is roll resin on and then use a spatula to smear it off. Basically, you know, put the put the resin on 
and then squeegee it off like uh, like I'm at the gas station cleaning the windows. And that worked really well. There's no way I would have sanded it this smooth. Like here, I didn't sand this part at all, and it was real bumpy before, and now it's just got a little bit of streakiness from the, you know, the dragging of the spatula. But that comes out pretty quick. And that's almost good right there. Um, I think I'm going to go over everything one more time. But first I'm just going to wipe it over with uh, sandpaper to get, you know, like little tiny bumps like this out. But yeah, this is going to be much faster than actually really sanding the whole thing. Man, look at that surface. I know it's got streaks, but like just the, the lumpiness is totally gone. And that was just from taking some resin, rolling it on like maybe two thirds of the way down and then taking my squeegee and just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I need to clean it a little, little bit better so it doesn't leave so many streaks. All right, I just went over it again. Rolling on resin and then squeegeeing it off. And I think it looks pretty good now. There's a few spots like right here where there's a little bit of a drip. I'll go over that with sandpaper, like a drip up here. But, uh, overall, I think it's looking good. Yeah, much better than before. I was just having lunch, trying to figure out why I didn't just put more resin in the mold to get a resin layer, you know, before the fiberglass. And then I remembered, I did, on the first pontoon half. The problem was that some of it uh, came separated from the mold and kind of crumpled up on the side here and made a bit of a mess. Which I smoothed out. I smoothed out anything that's going to be below the water line. But you can still see it. So then after that I just went straight fiberglass against the mold and uh, committed to having to add a layer of resin on the outside after. Which is fine, because now I, I learned this new fancy technique of the squeegeeing, which opens some doors on the upper parts of the boat. Because I would never bother sanding stuff that's not in the water, that's not absolutely necessary to be sanded. But, you know, I would squeegee some stuff to smooth it out a little. It doesn't take that much uh, effort. And I hate sanding because, you know, it makes a mess and uh, it takes forever, uses up all the sandpaper. But the squeegeeing, it's, it's not a big deal. And you squeegee off stuff and you just smear it on to the next thing. So it's a really good, very efficient use of the material. I always find it amazing how many details there are to think about when you're actually doing something from scratch. Whew. Anyway, moving on. I want to put more fiberglass in these stinking pontoons. Like one or two more layers on the inside. I'm not, I guess two would be really nice. 